Today's locomotive consist for the northbound Quebec and New England train is a combination of old and new. We have two of the newest locomotives in the fleet, Dash 8 Dash 40Bs numbers 86 and 89, sandwiching one of the oldest GP 38s in the fleet, number 75. The Q and N E train typically runs longer than the uh, rival departure track, which has a 17 car capacity. The head end of the train is usually made up of connections from the eastbound and westbound Conrail trains. And so today here we see our locomotive consist backing onto classification track 2 to pick up the head end of the train, which they will double over onto the departure track before heading out of town. Those noisy locomotives you hear idling in the background are the uh, West Yard assignment uh, locomotives, GP10 number 70 and uh, MB15AC number 23, waiting for the QNE to clear the yard so they can get back to work. With all 25 cars plus caboose now coupled together, our crew sets up to do its outbound brake test. With its brake test now complete, our train slowly heads toward the signal governing the entrance to the Conrail westbound mainline at the Conrail QNE junction. The QNNE uses trackage rights over Conrail to reach home rails located just beyond the visible portion of the layout. And here we see the tail end of our train clearing the west end of the yard and passing by our very patient West Yard Assignment crew.
And here's a drone view of our train entering the Conrail mainline westbound. Out on the main, our Quebec and New England train meets up with an eastbound Conrail train powered by five U-boats. The Conrail train has come to a halt clear of the interlocking to await instructions to make its pickup and set off at the Q&E interchange. 